Welcome back to a brand new video. TBF Gaming jumping once again into seven days to die, but this time Alpha 21. Alpha 21 is finally here. We're so excited for this one. There's a lot of updates for this. I was going through the patch notes. A lot of times when a new alpha hits, I'll read through the patch notes, but there's so many that there's no way we can go through all of it here. The big thing to know is that it's a big graphic overhaul. A lot of the art assets, the way that the zombies explode, the traders look completely different. They added some new POIs. There's so many cool things in this one. Uh, some of the other stuff like the, the water jars not really being a thing anymore and the way you have to collect water being completely different. So it's going to be very, very different. Let's go ahead and jump straight into a game here. The generation also works a little bit different. On our first official playthrough, we're going to do a Navis game playthrough because I haven't done Navis game in a very long time. But we're going to go Random World. We got Alpha 21, Random World, and then we're going TBFG Alpha 20. Uh, Alpha 21, excuse me. We'll see how that works out. We've got everything set to default. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Advanced, everything default there. Everything default. So I didn't change anything. Now, if I no normally when we play, we at least bump it up to either Nomad or all the way up to Warrior. I think those are the best ones to play on typically. Adventurer feels a little bit low, but we're going to go with it right now just because we, we can see what the default looks like and kind of go from there. Let's go ahead and hit that generation. We'll see how quick it goes on this one. Allow access. There you go. This one should be a little bit quicker, but uh, we'll, we'll wait for it. I'll time how long it takes, and then I'll see you guys in game in just a second. All right, so it looks like about a two-minute load time. It really wasn't that bad, a little bit faster than it was in the past. So let's go ahead and get into this. It's been a while since we've done an early game, seven days to die. I'm kind of excited. Let's go ahead and check it out. Kind of the same there if you want to go ahead and read it. I won't put you through me trying to read that. Basic survival quest, got it. Okay, let's see what we got. What, what do we have down here? Everything is changed. There's so many things that look different. Look, the land claim block even looks different. Note from that guy, we'll scrap you. Go ahead and put you up in the inventory. Put you over there. Put you on the last slot. There you go, and we'll keep you right there for now. All right, let's get to it, man. Oh, wait, we, are we next to a trader, or is this a fake POI? I don't know. We'll check it out in just a second. So I'm really excited to get an Alpha 21. We've been waiting on this one for a long time. There's so many, so many graphic changes to this and just updates or that well, things within this update that we're really excited about. It's going to be a lot of fun to kind of get into it. Uh, I like the, the UI stuff up there on the top. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of gathering, and then we'll craft a bedroll. All right, bedroll. Boom. That one looks different. Oh, man, yeah, everything looks a little bit different, a little bit shinier. There's tons of new objects added to the game, so once modders get a hold of this, it's going to be absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and place the bedroll. There you go. We'll leave it there for now. We'll definitely check that out in just a second. Let's go ahead and gather our stuff. A little bit of claw, some stone. How many do we need? We need one more wood. Grab those. Uh, a little bit more stone, and then more wood over there. I love that they added these. I know that was actually at last alpha they added that, but very cool. All right, craft a stone axe. Stone axe, boom. There you go, get into some of this early game stuff out of the way quickly. Definitely search these. We're gonna Food is going to be a premium in this one. Water is obviously going to be an issue. Hopefully we can survive. Also, if we see a tree stump, the two or three live streams that we checked out, looks like they got infected pretty quickly. So we're going to try to get stuff going as quick as possible. Uh, let's see. Craft fiber pants. Let's make fiber pants. Okay. Oh, it's going to go through each one individually. Okay. Now we need to do like that. And then wooden club. Uh, we need a little bit more wood. All right, grab some wood real quick. And then a wooden club. Now, I don't know which skill tree we're going to go into more on this one. It, it's going to be kind of hard to decide on that. We'll have to really think about it. We go into strength almost all the time. I wouldn't mind trying out one of the other ones. The spear got a big overhaul for this update, so maybe finally the spear won't suck anymore. I know some people like the spear, but I have never liked it. Uh, it's just it's always been kind of hard for us to fight with. Craft primitive bow. Let's do that. Primitive bow. Craft some arrows. A whole two arrows. Let's get some more. Get a couple more stones so we can craft a couple more. Unless we can find a, a rock out here. Uh, there we go. We'll go collect this guy real quick. Craft a building block. We'll do that in just a second. All right. Grab you real quick. There we go. We need a couple more arrows. We're going to definitely try to stay away from the bad guys at first. We'll try not to die. Okay, let's put those. Club on the three spot. Nice. Okay, get a little bit more. And now we need to craft a building block. I, 
guess that's taking place of the the frames. Yeah. Okay. So let's make a couple of those. Place a building block. Boom. And then upgrade. There we go. All right. Let's gather some small stone. And then build a campfire. Cool. So same same starting quest. No change there. Campfire. Get it going. There we go. All right. I want to go back up a little bit closer to this because we might need to use this later. Now, I mean, I guess we could do some wilderness living, but I would definitely, I would prefer finding the first trader and hopefully find a little town. 600 meters away. Wow. Okay, so which way are we going? We're going a ways this way. Let's go. All right, on the road. We'll do a little bit of gathering on the way, and we'll make our way over to the trader. Hopefully, there's at least a little town here so we can get ourselves really started in this one. And we'll have to kind of see how the random gen is looking. Hopefully, it's looking pretty good. I haven't done any searching on the map or anything like that yet. Before we start our first official series here in a couple weeks, we'll definitely like really research our maps before we get started, or we'll just play Navis Gain. Because like I said, we haven't done Navis Gain forever. I think it'd be a lot of fun. All right. We got about 500 meters away. Make sure we're gathering on the way. Get as much as possible. Use just a little bit of wood. And then we'll probably, once we get over there, we'll start seeing our first zombies, I assume. Let's also go ahead and get our first spear. Stone spear. Now, like I said, this one has changed quite a bit. It should have a power attack now, right? Yeah, we got a power attack with it now, which makes it to where I want to use it more. Because that's why we always love the, the big, bad sledgehammer, because of that power attack. Hopefully this one is also awesome. All right, the stones look a little different. We'll grab just a small amount of this real quick. Just give us a little bit of that. But it, uh, the progression should be a lot slower in this one. The way that they kind of change some of the stuff, progression is going to be way slower. After we get our first skill points, we'll take a quick look at the skill tree, see how that's looking. But overall, man, I'm very excited for this. It's early game, seven days to die. Now, we have a couple plans in the near future, too. We've been talking to a couple different... Uh, there you go. A couple friends of ours to do like a little duo series or trio series. There's been a couple people we've talked to that we might bring in for something like that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Let's head all the way over here. Kind of a long run for the first run. We'll go up on here. Maybe we'll be able to see around a little bit. Oh, I, I like on the bottom right. It shows the plus and it shows in parentheses how much you have. That's pretty awesome. Nice, man. Some cool changes. Definitely looks good. We'll know better when we get into the towns. Because I don't think they changed like the wilderness. They did change water blocks. Water is going to look different. All right. Almost up top. Oh, let's search the bags. Going to need those. Okay. Definitely search these. I think I've been missing them. We're going to need those eggs. There we go. First town. Awesome. And first friend. First friend. Let's go. Oh, man. Our good old friend. How you doing, buddy? There you go. We'll hit him with a, a power shot real quick. There we go. Get that XP. There you go. First kill, man. We always talk about like our first few times playing this game. We've gotten a lot better. I'm still not good at the game, but we've gotten a lot better. When we first played this game... It was pretty much just pure avoidance for the first, like, seven to ten days. Like, we did the Horde Night, obviously, but other than, in the Horde Night, we usually just try to hide on top of a building somewhere and hopefully survive. But early on, man, we were definitely kind of combat adverse. We were trying to avoid it as much as possible. I'm just doing this to hopefully get a little bit of honey, just in case. I have a tendency to get infected very quickly. There you go. Nothing there. All right, we'll keep going in. Nice. We got a little town here, though. So we'll knock out a mission right away. We'll get in straight into the missions. Go, knock this one out. And boom. There we go. All right. There's another friend here. Save the stamina. Oh, that vehicle looks a little different. All right. <laughs> that power shot is pretty good. All right. Okay. Confirmed. The spear power shot is awesome. All right, we might actually go spear in this playthrough. I don't ever go spear. I don't think I've done spear since, like, whenever spear was introduced into the game. Alpha 17, 18, 19, whenever it first came in. Definitely search all of the bird nests, please. Okay. 
Let's check out these cars. These cars look totally different. Definitely search the bags. That looks a little different as well. Oh, we got a lockpick. Uh, nothing. Okay. I don't know if they're actually searchable or not, but we'll check them out. Nothing there. Do we get anything for chopping these? Uh, just that. Okay. Oh, we got a friend. What's up, lady? Let's go ahead and poke you in the face. There we go. Good job, man. Power shot is looking good. All right, search this guy. The vehicle models look cool, too. Yellow pickup truck. Now, I assume that means that they're going to be able to start adding some cool stuff in the mods later on, too. Hopefully, they're going to update some of the vehicle stuff in the future. Is this our first trader? And you can see the trader compounds. Big time changes on these. It's going to be awesome. All right, let's poke you in the face. There you go. I hate those guys. All right, first trader, man. Let's go. We got... Jen, Trader Jen, nice. Also, they added a new, when you hit F7, it takes away that, but you can still access things. In the past, you couldn't do that. Uh, let's see, we're going to go like so. Go ahead and get that screen back up. All right, let's go in. Oh, that's cool. So this is the Trader Trader Jen compound. She got some vending machines on the side. Anything searchable? Oh, we got a couple vehicles that are searchable, nice. Looks like the old church building, but it's got some solar on top. Looking pretty good. All right. Oh, we got friends outside. Hopefully, they can't get in. We're back on vanilla, so I think we're safe. Or at least safe-ish, unless they can glitch in somehow. Okay, got a, little, a couple little medical things over here. Not hittable, right? Oh, wait, actually. Okay. So, it didn't make a noise at first. All right. I'm going to search everything we can. Nope. Just, yeah, you can see the models on everything look way different. Oh. We had it for a second there. Got it? Oh, we got our first book. What's our first book? Tech Planet. Learn to create. Learn to create do it yourself electronics from everyday junk and be the envy of your peers. Improves robotics crafting skill. Okay. Alright, nothing, nothing. Can't search those. Let's check this next one. We should be perfectly safe in here, so we don't have to like be cautious or anything. I'm surprised I can't search any of those things. It's weird. Okay. We'll go in her house in just a second. I kind of want to get everything so we can sell a couple things to her, get just a little bit of money to start with, see if she's got anything good. Nothing, nothing. Can we search you? No, that, that's a good looking truck too. Search the dumpster. Definitely search these guys. Alright. Oh, you looked real different with that pink going. Alright, let's go ahead and let her in. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Close that back up. Good job, good job. Alright. Okay, a bunch of body bags. All right, let's check out this little building here. Okay. Search the purse. We'll definitely search everything in here. That'd be cool if we got a cooking pot or a grill this early. All right, nothing. A little bit of food. We'll at least be able to survive a little bit. All right, coffee. We'll probably, yeah, we're already overweight, of course. Oh, we got a little bit of water. There you go. Our first water. Now, when you the water though disappears when you consume it, so you don't get all the jars like we used to. All right, search that. We got some shoes. Nice. Look at the <laughs> look at the paintings. That's great. We got some new floof paintings. There you go. Very important stuff. All right. Not nothing. Oh, that one's a cool one too. Nice man. New in-game art stuff. Yeah, the art additions in this update. Just a bunch of them. Uh, we need that back. Hold on. There we go. Uh, what did I hit that brought back? I'm not sure. Is it F8? There it is. F8 for the FPS. Got it. Oh, that's new. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. All right, let's go in. 
Let's go visit our friend here. A little bit of water to cool off. Nice. I'm glad we got a few extra things look, there. Look what the cat dragged in. The church looks good. Oh, that's awesome. I like it, man. Jen's Clinic. Anything else I can search up here? Can I get back there or is it like glass? Something. Okay. Let me just check anything else here. She got some plants. Closed door back there I can't get into. Search up here. Oh, more books. We've got two books here. Let's see what these are. We got electrical traps. Do you have pests? Check out this crazy trap for pest control and home security. Improves trap crafting skill. Nice. This one is southern farming. Improves seed crafting. Okay. Very cool. That one gave us tier one cotton. And you have to basically read a bunch of those in order to unlock all the different crafting stuff that you're wanting to do. Very, very different. Very different. All right. Let's check the confession room. Some more books in there. Nice. We're getting some good early game books. Improves sledgehammer crafting skill. Improves vehicle crafting skill. And those are out of 100, so you need 100 of those books. Okay, vending machine if we need it. If we have a little bit of cash, we'll do that. Nice. Nice little collection of stuff here to get started. All right, let's talk to our friend Jen. Boom. Finish up that mission. Let's go ahead and check your inventory real quick, see if there's anything crazy. Oh, you got some tons of books. Now, this changes completely. You'll notice that there's no more secret stash, and everything is tier-based now. So we're only going to see stuff that's based on what tier we are with this trader. So we don't have all the like the big-time OP stuff in here. Is there anything good, though? Pipe pistol would be pretty amazing this early. Uh... Uh, some cool stuff, but I think repair repair kit, pipe pistol, those are cool, but that's pretty much it. Maybe food, maybe water. Those would be kind of nice. All right. Uh, is there stuff here that I can... I did get one honey. Nice. Like steel knuckles. We're not going to need that anytime soon. Old cash. Let's do that. All right. Definitely not the food. Oh, no. That didn't I work. Come back and Try it again. Sometime. It wanted me to sell it at first. No, you need 10. Okay. All right, sell that. Sell these. Okay, I think that's it. I don't want to sell everything. Remember okay. me if you need medical supplies. Let's go ahead and take our first job from her. First job. So we got buried supplies. No, thank you. Clear zombies. Three forty nine. If you do this for me. Shade tree I, auto. Let's do it. Shade tree auto. It is. This week, I will give you employee of the month. Employee of the month. Nice. I'm ready for it. All right, let's head over to this first POI. Here we go, first POI. I love the entrance here. This is awesome. There you go. Hit him with that headshot. Oh. Make sure I don't run into a dog. All right, first POIs. So here we go. Let's go into town, man. Everything is going to look different in terms of the POIs, so I'm so excited. It's going to be feel like a whole new game with all the different POIs. We got Grumpy's Pub. We got the hotel over there. The hotel looks good. I wish these were the missions. Like a really close POI. Uh, that'd be cool to live way up there. Looks like a little bit big to go into day one though. Search the police car. We're super overweight. I should pro Oh wow, this takes a while. Does this have good loot or something? It is taking a long while. That's the longest search I've ever seen. Okay, just hurry. There, I hear footsteps. There you go. Four... Come on. Oh, we were using a lockpick. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't even realize we were lockpicking. Grumpy's Pub. Oh, check that out. So when you get close to it, it tells you kind of the difficulty of the POI. Ow. My bad, my bad. We're sitting there talking about the POI. So when we looked at it, it, it showed us Grumpy's Pub and it showed two skull. Interesting. Oh, can I get this guy? Can I get him? Come on. No, I'm not fast enough. Come on. Oh, no. Enzarzaporium, three. Three skull. Let's not go there. All right. Dang, I really wanted that bunny. All right, let's get this guy finished off. All right, back up, back up. Wait for that stamina. There we go. Got a crawler over there. All right, we're almost to where we got to go. I can't wait to go in there. That's a cool-looking POI, too. All right, not dead yet. Gotcha. 
There you go, man. We got a couple kills already. This is pretty good for us. Nice. He looks different, too. <laughs> His body waves more than usual, it seems like. All right. What is this place? That is Mobile Field Hospital 2 Skull. Very cool, man. Now, I don't know if the skull is, is difficulty or number of zombies or how exactly that works. There's also something called infestations. I believe that made it into this alpha. All right. This be like the, the right building to take over. Cruise through liquors. There you go. Oh, that was a staggered fall down there. Gotcha. Okay. There's a little bit of a weird... Oh, the, the shoe thing is still down there on the side. I don't know if that's a visual glitch. It looks like that the shoe hasn't disappeared from down there. All right, search that guy. How we doing? 23 minutes in? We're doing okay. Yeah, that shoe thing's got to go away. We might have to log to get rid of that. Once we get to a safe place, I'll get rid of that so it's not sitting down there. So kind of a weird, weird visual glitch. All right. Almost where we got to go. This is kind of a long run. Uh, ooh, there's something weird up there. Really weird. Something weird with a random gen, I guess? I don't know. It's early. It's early. There's going to be some updates over the next few days as they start isolating and fixing bugs. All right. Got Aldo's cabinets on this side. And we got Shade Tree Auto over here. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Shade Tree Auto. Nice little one skull. Oh, this is different. Remember, they used to have a building right here. All right. Let's go visit our first friends here. This is to clear the area. There's one down. We got a friend out here. There it is. Oh, let's do this. We haven't done the bow at all because the spear's been pretty good. Come on this way. <laughs> we got him in the knee. There we go. We actually got him twice. Nice. Come on. I believe in you. There you go. We got him. All right. Can we search you? No. Let's see what we can and can't search in here. Any of the other vehicles? Nope. Nope. Hey, guys. I don't see him yet. Usually one. There used to always be one right behind there. Let's see if that's changed. Nope. Still the same. All right. Let's poke him in the face. There we go. All right, and go. No crawling. We don't crawl here. I'll poke his head off. I hear the straggler out there. We'll worry about that in just a second. All right. Keep the door closed. Nothing in the trash can. Can't search those. Definitely pick up the chairs so we can scrap them. All right. That door's closed. That door's closed. Let's go this way. thought there was always one in here. I guess not. All right. Searchable? No. Those aren't searchable. Did you get anything good for breaking these? No, they're like iron. Okay. Not At least not yet. Okay, come on. Let's go ahead and let him come to the door. You coming? There he is. All right, and I don't think we'll take over this building, but we definitely need to find a little spot to take over. There you go. Poke him till he dies. There you go. Perfect. Should be one more in here. There's usually one or two up here. There he is. Okay, stamp, stamp, stamp. Oh, I missed. Okay. Yep, jump off. Come on down, buddy. Come on. Oh, you had one job. There you go. Do it. I believe in you. Good landing. There you go. Got it. Uh, that was it. 
Area cleared. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of banging. We'll go out there and take care of the friend out there. Car parts. Okay, a couple more books. Get rid of this one. Oh, you moved. Scared the crap out of me. All right, get rid of that. All right, I got to go out there and take care of this guy. Did he make it through? No, there's a couple of them. Okay. Oh, oh, we got to repair. Hold on. Okay, repair. Oh, I thought they were going to be right there. I'm still traumatized by our last Wild West playthrough. Come on. Oh, man. A little bit of stamp problem. I got to stop with that power shot. Use it sparingly. There we go. And finish him. Nice. <laughs> Losing his head. All right. Let's jump up there. I saw a weapons bag. We'll grab that. All right. Got a couple rounds. Nice. Uh, we got some clothes. Let's throw, let's throw those on. Let's read this. Bar Brawling Volume 1. Deal 10% more damage with fist, leather, iron, or spike knuckles. You probably won't do it much, but that's fine. Tool Digest improves harvesting tool crafting skill. Scrap you. Vehicle off-road schematic. Nice. Uh, we could just take this place over. It's a, it's a really simple POI. Definitely not difficult to mess with. Uh, let's go like that. We don't really have to do this, but I'm going to break this out and put a couple frames here. In fact, let's just skip that. It's just taking too long. We'll eventually do that. There you go. All right. Get over here to this guy. Yeah, this wouldn't be a bad POI to take over day one. Where are we at? I think we're good time-wise. We could definitely do that. All right. Get this one. There you go. A couple free frames. We'll take that. And did we search everything over there? I would love to get that concrete, but we'll wait. But this little landing on this side would definitely be not, not a bad spot to kind of hang out day one. So we get this open. Oh, yep. Repair. There we go. Oh, can we get through? No, nope, got to break those two. Oh, that's going to take too long. Okay, well, let's leave that alone for now. Okay, let's go down, grab you. All right, anything else in here? Do a quick search of all this stuff. Kind of curious if any of this stuff changed for what you gather. doesn't look like it. All right, got that one already. Nothing up there. Search these guys. It's a little bit dark. I did up the brightness just a little bit, but we got it pretty close to default because we usually up it quite a bit for recording, but we had to make sure that it was close to default so you can kind of see because they changed the lighting inside of POIs. You'll notice how much darker it is in these places. Kind of give a little more realism. All right. We're good there. All right. Now the question is, do we go ahead and stay here or do we take over one of these other POIs? That one would be kind of cool. I say we go take over another one because I, I don't really... The shade tree, I don't want to... I've been there before. We've lived there a few times. Hold on. Why are we not doing this? That's what we need to be doing. No, no, no. I'm not that good a shot. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that one. Oh. We missed our chance, probably. <laughs> oh, just wasting arrows. I'm just not a good shot. Okay, once he stops again. Oh, I think it's dropping. All right. Yeah, we're not a good shot. That's why we don't use bow and arrow very often. All right. Is this a traitor or is that just a POI? Got the big flag like it's a traitor, but I don't think it is. Let's go look. Oh, we can always just do this. Nope, not a traitor. Oh, that's an NPD 3rd Division, 3 Skull. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's get over here. We'll check out... We got the bowling alley. Uh, we do passing gas. Passing gas is always easy. All right, let's head this way. We at least... We got to put a storage down and get rid of all this storage. We're just so overweight right now. 
Let's go. Man, I really don't want to live on top of there again. But I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Passing gas number 10. It's probably a, si a spot of a mission, though. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a storage down over here. So let's go storage. Secure storage, craft. Just so we can get ourselves not so heavy. Put that down. And drop all the things. There you go. Much, much better. Uh, the only thing I really need would be arrows, but we'll leave it alone for right now. Okay. I'm going to run to the trader, turn the mission in. We'll get the next mission. If it's not that, we'll probably take over either the passing gas or just one of these little small buildings next to here. Let's run back real quick. This is where we get at least credit for one mission day one. All right. Some more stuff. Nice. Nails. I think this one's searchable. Got a pumpkin. I, I still didn't realize that we were searching that. That's awesome. Let's check out Greg's auto. Three skull. Got it. How about the Motel Hotel? Greg's Motel. I think it said three skull. The same thing. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's go turn the mission in. Let's go talk to our friend Jen. And then we'll see what's next. Her little compound is huge. I wonder how it's going to work with random gen fitting in cities now. All right. All the way back in. Let's go talk to our friend. All right. Good job. First mission done. I knew you could do we it. We got crafting skill, magazine bundle, Molotov cocktails. Oh, man. Some of these would be good, but I really want the magazines. So we're going to go with that. Let's go ahead and take your next job. Clear zombies, got a job or two. the dead rooster, or what else you got? Man, these are so far away. All right, we have to take I that one. Would oh, the goodness. dead rooster it is. Okay. Dead rooster is a ways down there. We might be able to do that one real quick. Oh, close it. They changed a bunch of the doors, too. There's going to be so many different doors you see. I saw one building that had like a screen door on it, which was cool. Finish our way down this way. We could do Grumpy's Pub. That wouldn't be bad. It's all made of concrete, right? Yeah, it's got... It's pretty sturdy. I think this is the one. Come on, guys. Hello? There you go. Unless there's a dog. <laughs> Let's do this. Hopefully, this is not one of the ones with a dog out back. All right. Finish you, and then we'll go get our storage in a minute. Yep, I know we're dealing with hungry. Uh, oh, that's right, we don't have our hunger bar up. Let's go like this. Food and water are both at 50, okay. We'll search this after. Let's work on clearing it so we can make ourselves a little spot. All right, grab that. Definitely take the books. That shadow made me think that there's definitely something bad. There you go. All right, wait for him to get right there. Ready, boom. Come on. All right, finish him. There you go. Okay, nothing there. Okay, so we're going to be going up that way. And I don't know what's out back. Okay, work our way up. Okay, got a couple friends up here. All right, stand problems, hold on. There you go, take you down. Come on, dude. How am I missing so much? Come on, man. All right, ready. Knock her down. Keep that stamina going, and boom. Oh, I missed. This It's got good reach, but I just keep missing. Trying to be a little bit cautious day one. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to die this early. There we go. Chopped our head right off. All right. Uh, in order to secure this place, we definitely are gonna have to get rid of the staircase. Oh man, is there gonna be dogs back here? Please don't be dog. Oh, there's definitely dogs. There is 100% gonna be dogs back here. Okay, actually the fence is high enough. That's actually high enough up. 
We just need now to get rid of this as a entrance. Just gotta make sure this is not accessible. So let's break this down. We'll go back and get our storage stuff. We'll get ourselves up on top and then start building some storage and get ourselves finished up for the night. But not too bad. This is definitely a good day one. Not a bad start. We have a little bit of water. Uh, we have a little bit of food. Let me see. This is improved rifle crafting skill. Let's go ahead and see what we get out of this. A bundle of three random crafting skill magazines. We got big hitter. Oh, it gave us three. In improved club uh, crafting. We're up to quality two clubs. Nice. Harvesting tools. We got... Stone tools quality too, nice. Improve spear crafting, nice, since we're using spears. That should give us the spear, is it? Should say, there you go, stone spear quality two, nice. We'll be able to upgrade that in just a minute. There you go, break you down. I just wanna make sure that it's not accessible. Should be good. All right, close all the doors. And then we'll make our own little entrance and exit up top. Then we'll figure out how to deal with the dog out back. All right, let's go. I guess we'll do ladder off of here. Wooden ladder. I need more wood. Can I do ladders frames with these? Let me see. Ladder. We can. Awesome. Okay. All right, so we'll go like that. Oh, no, that looks awful. Let's go here. Okay, jump up. And then we'll do the same thing up. Oh. Might have to get rid of that little lip. Uh, if we go like that, can I climb it? There we go. Okay, cool. That gets us up here. Let me go get our storage box. It's right over there. And then we'll come on back. And now we have a little intermediate jump down. Perfect. Not searchable. All right, let's grab this giant box of stuff. We'll worry about our food and water, and then we'll look at skill points, and then we'll end the episode. Not a bad day one. Got quite a bit done. I'm definitely happy with the progress. Definitely search these guys while we're here. Oh, Midway Clinic. Three skull. Let me try not to sprint quite so much. Uh, we, I'm glad we got water, though. We got just a little bit of water. We'll look into how to make the water collector, the dew collector, whatever it's called. We'll look at that in just a second. All right. Oh, pipes. Nice. We can get a pipe. Weapon kind of early. All right, search that. Oh, man. We are that full. Let me see. We got a couple books to read. Improves food crafting. Grilled corn and baked potato. Nice. This one is improves assault. I like, I like getting the little notification of what you're unlocking. That's actually amazing. Vehicle crafting skill. Okay. Grab these. What else can we do here? Scrap you. Grab that. And... I think that's it. Okay. I guess we're not doing a pine seed. All right. We're super overweight, but that's fine. Base is right there. We're going to end it there. I'm going to go ahead and get up top. Let's go ahead and look at our skill points real quick when we get up there, though. We got five skill points, so we'll spend those first thing in the morning on day two. The, the tree has changed completely. Sex Rex is gone. There's a lot of things gone. Basically, Sex Rex has been distributed out. Flurry of Blows has been distributed out to all the different perks, so you don't have to worry about going into the sex ranks and strength anymore it's just part of each tree which is really good that, that is a really good change at first we didn't like it when i first heard about it i was i was kind of iffy but after we kind of realized what they did with it to distribute it out and make it to where you don't have to waste those points i think it's a great addition or great change the spill the spear hunting uh, the spear is obviously pretty amazing the changes on that one are really good so we're going to have to go a little bit into the spear tree which i think is perception i, I haven't actually looked in forever let me see uh, is it intellect, agility, perception, spear? Sticks and stones can't break my bones, but if combined, make a nice spear. Spears do 10% more damage. Definitely, we're going to stick with the spear for a little while. Uh, have a 20% chance to slow enemies. Stamina cost reduced by 8 and 15% for power attacks. Find more spears, parts, spear parts in loot. Okay. And then we need perception level 3 for the next one. Okay. I think this is what we work on doing, and then we'll eventually... We'll eventually get into the rifles. Cool, man. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll definitely look into that. I'll look at some of the stuff that we need to do and some of the other points that we want to spend. Let's go ahead and jump back up top, get ourselves some storage going. Oh, did I hit the barbed wire? I think I hit the barbed wire. Uh, I'll, I'll make a better entrance, too. This is just a very temporary to get us rolling. Come on. There you go. 
All right, we're up here. I'm going to make a little bit of stuff up here, and I will see you guys day two. We'll get started on another amazing day here in 7 Days to Die. Thank you for all the support. Huge shout out to the patrons. I'll have a patron server up for this as soon as it comes out of Experimental. Or not out of Experimental, but as soon as it comes out of the streamer weekend, we'll get started on that. But I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.